probably the YouTube are probably like, what the hell is happening? Like, you got the gas tank and the recoil, the shroud off, and the flywheel. You're like, what the hell is happening? Well, as you guys know, it um le leaks oil here. And if I roll this back, it has a, I think... I know, I know what I need, though. I need to put up on its side, take off the, um, I'm going to drain this in a couple of days anyway. Take off the, um, the oil drain thing, and uh, I need to put some, like, thread compound on it. So that's what I need to do for that. And I need to, you know, clean the deck up. But what I'm doing is that you guys know it shoots gas up the oil at the carburetor. I have the same problem on that motor happens on most of them. It's this thing right here. And if you guys know, it's this thing. And um, what it, if you follow the pipe, you can sort of see this without even looking at it. But the pipe, it's this pipe. It's like aluminum pipe. And it goes into here. If you take off this cover, we have to make sure all strain doors will pour out, but if you take off this cover, it's where your valves are. Your valve springs, actually, and they move right there. That's where your valve springs are. And, and, and it's called a breather. It's called a breather tube. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you. This is probably on a... This is not how you fix it. What you want to do is put the correct amount of oil. I put like 24 ounces for a 20, I know. It's from putting too much oil in it. From over, It's from putting, you know, more than the amount required. But I want more oil. I'll show you. you get one of these. I'll just put it on my desk, actually. Get one of these quarter inch hose bar, quarter inch male pipe thread. It looks like this. It's the most popular fitting. If you go in Sears, it's hard to find because you don't go in the pipe aisle. You got to go in the plying aisle where they have like your plying tube and stuff. That's where I got this because they screwed these on p copper pipe and they it's for their drinking line for refrigerators. And then you can get it already. Oh, it's not even in there. You can get it. Then you want to get three eighths, three eighths by quarter inch. See right there, it's just three eighths by quarter inch. Looks like that, and that will slide over that nice and snug. See, it's quarter quarter inch there. It's just three eighths by quarter inch. That's what you want. And then what? You, it just slides over that like that and you need get about a foot you need a little less this is about 18 inches what well, you can tell they have these little tabs and that's where you cut and you follow this one around that goes there that's about a foot I get about I got about two feet of this now I probably got three feet of this I told the guy I got to ooh, I got like three feet of this guy 18 inches you probably just get a I would just get a foot if you have rigs to drop motor, I'll just get a foot of it. And one of the one of these adapters, a dollar fifty, fifty cents a foot, forty nine cents or forty seven cents. I don't even know. It's it's like three bucks total. And then you might want to get some. Um, I already have it. Then you're gonna want to get some of this pipe thread compound. That's like three or four bucks. You might be able to use Teflon tape, but yeah, I'll get my adapter. You might be able to use it, but I'm not sure. You could actually, I might actually not use that. I might use, but I got my container. JB Quick? Might just use some JB Quick. Cause that stuff works pretty good. That's what I'm gonna probably do, get some JB Quick. And today's Tuesday. Get them off Friday, right? Guys, so I'm going to get oil on for this Friday. I'm going to let my all my compounds sit. 
I'll just edit these videos together. So it looks like this. Here's my finger, and I'm 14. That's my. I don't know where that went. Oh, there it is. Go back. And um, it goes like this. Wait, this this is where I was gonna put it. I think. It's hard to see, guys. Hold on, let me get a flashlight. Yeah, I got. It's good lighting for me, but it's bad for you because on camera it shows up darker, really. But try put this between my legs. This, I was gonna, I was gonna put this here actually, but now I, I can't. I'm gonna put it right here. You move all this. I'm gonna gotta take some purple power to the side and a brush. Ugh. I'm gonna put this on tomorrow. Oh my god. I, it's hard to move for you guys to see it, boy. Oh my god. Well, that's the area. I'm gonna put it. I think I'm gonna put it right there. And I got clearance there. Might have to modify this real quick. Can I move it over? I don't know. But I'm going to put it somewhere. I'm going to put it somewhere along here. I think I might put it there. When it goes in, it'll be like that. I'm going to put it along there. What I'm going to do is get the drill bit. It's like a 3 8 or something. And I'm going to drill it. Now I'm going to get my tap and die set and tap and die it. And screw it. Put some compound. Probably going to use JB Weld, actually. I might use that. It'll work a little better. I'm just going to screw it in. And then... And it's smother motor oil. And then... I'm going to... Get over here. I'm going to cut this tube in. I'm going to leave about an inch. And I'm going to cut it. Now I'm going to take that out and just put that, save that for another project or something. Now I'm going to come over here. I'm going to grab this tubing. I'm going to, I'm going to have, I might have to get a connector. Yeah, it looks like I have to get a connector. I didn't notice that. See, when you do stuff like this, when you... Are building in process you don't know but I have to get a connector I have to get a plug I have to get like a connector type thing I'll show you guys in the next video what the connector and stuff will look like so it'll plug in like that and then the hose is gonna come down here it's gonna come down and plug right in there that you only need it's probably six inches maybe I don't know but I might have to weave it over. I might have to like move it over here and come down here or something. You just never know how you're gonna have to locate it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run it. I'm, I'm gonna probably re do this in my. I'm gonna probably re mention this. And you wanna um I'm gonna run it because it's gonna be metal shavings. So I'm gonna run it for like 10 minutes. Drain the oil. Put new oil. Run that for a while. Drain it, put new oil, then I'll be good to get the metal shavings out. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And and this way I can put instead of 20 ounces, I could put 24, six. I could, I could put 28 ounces ounces actually. And that way in the summer I'm gonna be working this mower hard because I'm gonna be mowing my lawn mowing other people's lawns, this thing should be like a workhorse. So if I blow motor, I wouldn't be surprised. But if I had this on here, I can put more oil to lubricate it so it won't blow. See, that's what I'm going to do. And I have to get a new air filter, because that one's all soggy. I have to get a new air filter, that little connector, and and two bottles of oil. Now I'm gonna cut it right here. 
Um, I'm probably going to use my cutoff tool to cut that. I'm going to use my cutoff tool, then I'm going to file it. The small file. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to remove that little other tube. Use that on my next project. And I might install it on that one. I think for this mower. I don't know. I'm, I'm making another video. See you later. That's what I'm going to be doing.